Woods filed this report. Meet Jody Mason of Olympia, Washington, a man driven to protest. Uh, the Bush administration gave the ultimatum to Saddam Hussein to leave Iraq. I got ready and I got a chain and some locks and uh, I went to commit an act of civil disobedience by locking myself to a, a door. He meant to chain himself here, to this U.S. Department of Energy substation. But instead, he ended up here chained to the side door of a non-profit rural aid organization. He got the wrong building, but at least he had the right message. Your sign said reduce deficit, and you shouted no blood for oil, and you were chained to a rural help organization. Mm -hmm. What's your message? Um, well... So, wrong building, unclear message, but at least Jody reached the people. How long before someone noticed you? 18 hours. Why do you think people ignored you? Um, I think people don't like to uh, think about uh, the troubles in the international spectrum right now. Not because you were below sidewalk level. Jody brought me to the place where, for some reason, no one saw him. You were chained where? Uh, just to this door handle here. Okay. And was this sign here when you... Yeah, actually it was, but... Did you read this sign? Uh, after I locked to the door handle. Yes, after he locked to the door handle. But every good protester has a contingency plan. So when you found out you were in the wrong place, you just unlocked yourself and moved, right? No, because I didn't have the key. I, I, I went to the demonstration. Forgot it? Left it somewhere? Yeah, I, I left it in, in, the, in the car I was using. In his car, probably next to the fish tickets. Then, miraculously, 18 hours later, office worker Larry Clark stumbled upon Jody and set him straight. When you told him he was at the wrong building, what did he say? Basically, oh. 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 He just said oh. But even the greatest of protesters made mistakes. Few people have heard about Martin Luther King's March on Washington, the state. And, the and there was the time Gandhi accidentally broke his hunger strike thinking that ice cream didn't count as food. Jody took comfort in this as the cops moved in at last. The brutal scene that followed will go down in history. How many officers did you need to take him down? It only took one of us. When the coppers came, did you think, I smell bacon? No, I didn't. They were really nice uh, officers. F***ing pigs. The f***ing pigs cut Jody free of his chains and did not even take his name. But they were still impressed. Now, I know you had a job to do, but you kind of admire him too, don't you? Not really. <laughs> Larry Clark seconds that emotion. Has Jody's bravery touched your life? No, I thought he was uh, homeless. I didn't see the chain. Yes, Jody Mason stands as an inspiration to us all. Are you the Rosa Parks of chaining yourself to the wrong building? I... I'm sorry, I don't know who Rosa Parks is. Uh... In the end, Jody feels wiser. And he's got big plans for next time. If I was going to do it again, um, I might actually try to try to research and find a, a building that's actually owned by the federal government. So look out, buildings with doors. Jody is coming back. Um, yes. Could you tell me where uh, you sell link chain by the foot? Sure, right over in aisle 14.